So this is going to be a really complicated tutorial on how to make an airlock. So to start off, you want your doors. I'm going to just use, uh, let's see what our options for doors are. We want one that's powered, you, like you can't open it manually. So I'm going to grab the sliding electric door. Then you want to just fill in the walls a little bit so that you can place down your button and stuff. My button's going to go right there. It's gonna. It's got to be a two-sided toggle button for both doors. And then you're just going to fill in the airlock a little bit. So right here, here. Uh, because I'm lazy, I'm just going to copy and paste this door and just scoot over here. So copy, scoot, over, and paste. And then I'm just going to fill in the roof. So this is my airlock. Now... What I want to do next is just build a little compartment that the airlock is going to be connected to. So I'm just going to do that really quickly. There we go. And that's the main part. All you need is the airlock and a compartment. Now I need to add tanks to store the air from the airlock. So I'm going to add one tank, or sorry, one large pump that has the fluid in going into the wall and then one large pump with the fluid out going into the wall. Then I'm going to connect these to the wall using the enclosed pipes like this. And then I'm going to add fluid and ports onto the end of those. Then I'm going to connect both sides into a large, uh, two large tanks that are going to be completely emptied. So this will go here. This can go upside down right here. Gotta go one more over, and then oop, down. Now I'm gonna grab two large tanks. As I said, both of these are going to be emptied, so we're gonna click on it with the select tool and take the fill level to zero. And then what I'm going to do is set up all the logic. So to start off, we need three barometers. One barometer is going on the outside. One barometer is going inside the airlock one barometer is going inside the main compartment. Since the barometer to the vacuum is going to be zero and we're going to be dividing with it, we need to add some number to it so it's not zero. So I'm going to grab an add logic block and I'm going to grab a constant number and I'm going to say this barometer value plus 0 0.05. So 0 0.05. I just like this number for the airlocks. It seems to work decent. Now, I need to grab two divides because I need the ratio between, or the ratio of the pressure between different compartments with something like that. So, I'm going to take this value and there, it's going to go to A on both, or only on this divide. The B from this divide is going to be from the airlock uh, barometer. Then the airlock barometer goes to the A on this one, and the B comes from the barometer on the inside of the compartment. Now I need two less thans, one for each divide. So I also need one more constant number, but this is going to be the same for a bunch of stuff. So this is going to be 0 0.95 because it's one minus this value. So if the divide over here is less than 0 0.95, and if the divide over here is less than 0 0.95, then we want to go into a couple of AND blocks because we need to do some conditioning. So we're going to add four AND blocks, one on each side. And we're going to add two NOT blocks at the end of those two over here. So I want to say, for the pumps that are going to pull the air out, if that value is less than that, and I want to open the door, and the other door this comes from the not block now the other door is not on then we will pump the air out now it's the pretty much the same for the other side if i want to pump the air in then it's going to be less than and i want to open this door and the other door is not opened then we pump the air in now what about controlling the actual doors well, you have to add a couple of more AND blocks. So, it's going to be four more. And 
you could recycle some of these blocks so you can use less, but I just got to show the entire process. So, oh, also we need greater thans, two of them. So, if the same divide instead is now greater than that 0 0.95, so if this divide is greater than the 0 0.95, and this is going to be for opening the outside door, and we want this door opened, and the opposite door is not opened, then we open the door for this one. This goes into the AND. The AND comes from the button to open the door. The AND goes into here. The NOT goes here. This comes from here. It's pretty much the same thing, just over and over. Then we open this door. And that should be it. We just have to check our values, make sure it's all good. All right, now we're going to save this as airlock thing. And that should be it. Now let's go test it in space. Um, quickly, because there's a tornado coming, apparently. So, click here, load up this, spawn it in, and then teleport to the moon. By the way, don't forget batteries and stuff, um, otherwise you could just turn on infinite electricity. So let's go to this, push the button, and you can hear it, it's pumping the air out. You can hold page up, or if you have it just on the default, full tool tips and you can see that it's pumping a bunch of air out and then eventually the door should open eventually there we go okay I got worried for a second now once we go into the airlock we uh, if you look we, we can push this button all we want It'll close that door, but nothing's going to happen until you turn this button off. Then you can hear it filling up the compartment. I know it's really bright and really dark at the same time, but just bear with me. Then... Eventually this door should open. There it goes. And then now we're inside this compartment, and if I turn on player damage, I'm cold, but I'm not dying. Now if I go into the airlock, open this door, you can hear it pumping out the air, you can look at the tooltips, you can see that it is pulling out a lot of air, and eventually, I'm probably going to start dying due to lack of oxygen. I think, I should, yep there we go, I'm dying to pressure, oh really quickly, oh, oh turn that off, alright, and then eventually the door is going to open again, and... There we go. So, I know it's really confusing. If there are any questions, please ask them. Okay? And, yeah, that's just how you make a really simple airlock.